With this text effect, we're going to create a neon glow effect. Just like always, you want to go to File, go to New. In here, you want to set it to 1280 times 720. Keep it on 300 resolution. RGB color, a bit transparent, and then go ahead and press Create. You want to get yourself the bucket tool, and then you want to get yourself a color. I normally like to pick a dark color, and then I go ahead and press OK. Left click on the screen, go over to the text tool, get yourself a white color, and then you want to left click and then drag yourself a box and then type in your text. The font that I'm using is called Neon Glow. There'll be a link in the description if you would like to download it and then put it on 36 for the size. You want to drag the corners back in, go to the first tool and then you want to go ahead and press Ctrl J to get yourself a copy of it. If you're on a Mac, it'll be Command and J and then you want to hold Shift and then press the down arrow to move it down. And then once you've moved it down, you want to go back to the text tool, left click on the text and then retype in glow. And for this one, you want to drag the corners out and then set this one to 61 for the pixels. Once you've done that, drag the corners back in. You want to go back to the first tool and then you want to align the L and the E so they are touching. Once they're touching, you want to hold shift and then press the down arrow to move it down. Once you've done that, you want to hold shift, click on the bottom one to highlight them both. And then you want to press control T or Command and T, and then left click and then move this to the center. It'll lock on once it is centered, and then you want to rotate it to 7.2 anti-clockwise. Once you've done that, you want to double left click on the screen. You want to click on the first text, and then you want to get yourself two copies of it. So if you press Control J twice, and then hide the ones above it. You want to right click on the text, and then set this one to red, and then right click on the other one, and then set this one to blue. Once you've done that, you want to right click on it and then go to your blending options. In the blending options, you want to get yourself a inner glow, a gradient overlay and a outer glow. In the inner glow, you want to set this one to overlay for the mode and then set it to 100 opacity. Also change this to a white color and then change the size to six. Go down to contour and then change this one to this one right here. Next up, you want to go over to the gradient overlay. In the gradient overlay, you want to go to the gradient you want to left click on it and then you want to start off with the first color. So the first color will be FF2020. Go ahead and press OK. Next up, you want to click in the middle underneath the icon and then make sure this is the 50 for the location and then go to the color and then you want to type in 8400FF. Go ahead and press OK. And then finally, for the last one, you want to get yourself a color of 008AFF. Go ahead and press OK and then press OK again. Change the angle to 36 and then the size to 114. In the outer glow, you want to set this one to normal and then you want to put the opacity to 9. You want to change the size to 40 and then you want to click on the gradient right here. And in that gradient, you want to first of all click on the very last one at the top and then set the opacity to 100. Go to the first one. Click on the color and set it to FF0000. Press OK. Click in the middle at the bottom and then change the color to 9600FF. Press OK. And then finally, for the last one, change the color once again to 0078FF. Press OK. And then press OK again. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and press OK unhide the one above it. So you want to get yourself the first copy of the text. You want to right click on it, convert to smart object, and then go to filter, go down to blur, and then go to motion blur. In the motion blur, you want to set it to nine degrees for the angle, and then you want to set it to 1237. Press okay, get yourself a mask, and then you want to get yourself the brush tool. You can use the shortcut key, which is alt, and hold the right side of the mouse. If you're on a Mac, it will be the option key and then you just hold the right side of the mouse. If you don't have a mouse, then don't worry about it. You can use the square bracket and the N square bracket on your keyboard to make it larger or smaller. Now that you've done that, make sure you are on a black color. Go up to the opacity and then set this one to 62. Now that you've done that, you can then go ahead and unhide the very last copy of it. And then in that last copy, once again, right click on it, convert to smart object. Once you've done that, go to filter, Go down to blur again and then go to Gaussian blur. In here you want to set it to one pixel and then go ahead and press OK. Now that you've done that, go to the brush tool. Once again, get yourself a mask and then in that mask you just want to 
remove the areas that you don't want to highlight. So for example, we're going to remove the top bit on the M and only select certain areas that we want it to glow. And the T. Now that you've done that, you want to set this one to vivid light and then set it to 50%. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and create yourself a layer above that one. And then in that layer, you want to once again, stay with the brush tool, get yourself a white color and make the size a little bit bigger and then just paint on top of it. The reason for this, this is what will give it more of a glow. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and set this one to overlay and then put it to 75. Now that that is all done, we can go ahead and create ourselves a new layer once again, and this is going to be the glow. Stay with the brush tool once again, just increase the size, holding Alt and right side of the mouse. Get yourself a color, and the first color you want to get is a nice red color. You want to go ahead and paint on top of it. Once again, doesn't have to be perfect. Change the color to a light purple. Paint on top of it. Go ahead and change it once again to a darker, more purple. Paint on top of it. Once again, change it, change it to a blue. And then finally, once again, change it to a baby blue. And then paint on top of it. Once you've done that, you want to set the mode to soft light. Leave this one on 100. You want to go ahead and click on the first tool, press Control J to get yourself a copy of it and then set this one to screen. And then turn down the opacity to 37. If the glow is too much for you, you can always use the eraser tool and just erase some of it. Now that we've done the first one, you want to click on the top one and then click on the bottom one and then create yourself a group. So that is your first text. And then you just pretty much want to repeat it for the other text. So once again, press Control J twice, hide these ones, right click on this one, blending options. The great thing about Photoshop is now if you get yourself the inner glow, gradient overlay and outer glow, it will remember your settings. So as you can see, it's already applied them and that has saved us some time. So you can then go ahead and press OK. Same as last time, unhide the one on top, right click on it, convert smart object, go to filter, go down to blur, motion blur, nine degrees, 12, 37, press OK, and then get yourself the mask, brush tool, make sure it's on a black color, erase some of the lines, and then turn down the opacity to 62, unhide the one above that one, and then right click on it, convert smart object. You want to go to filter, go down to blur, Gaussian blur, one pixel, press OK, and then once again, create yourself a mask, and then remove it where you want it to go. So on this one, we're going to keep it at the top right there. Remove it from the middle. You want to set this one to vivid light and then put it on 50%. You want to create yourself a new layer. And then in that layer, you want to get yourself the brush tool, get yourself a white color, and then go over the lines. You want to go to the blend mode and then set this one to overlay and then put it to 75. Same as last time, get yourself a new layer. And then in that layer, you want to get yourself a red color. Set this one to soft light, then go ahead and press Control J. If you can't press Control J, it's because you're selecting this. So you just want to click on opacity and then click off it and then press Control J. And then this one, you want to set it to screen and then turn it down to 37. Once again, we can neaten things up if you don't want the glow to be too extreme. Click on the top one and then click on the bottom one by holding shift and create yourself a group. You can now give yourself a color and then just label these. You can rename them and that is pretty much it.